It's a big change for drivers on I-40 and I-640. TDOT bumped the speed limit from 55 to 65 miles an hour. The state says the change should improve safety. Hundreds of you are talking about this online. Almost 650 of you have commented on our Facebook post. More than 3,000 of you have shared it. Truck drivers we spoke to tonight support the change. And 10 News reporter Amelia Young joins us to explain why. Amelia. John, a TDOT study found that almost all drivers were going above the posted 55 miles per hour speed limit, usually somewhere in between 67 and 75. And truck drivers say that made navigating the interstate not only difficult, but dangerous. Uh, this is actually something that we believe is going to continue to make these roads safe. For drivers, the reduced speed on I-40 has always caused some sort of headache. For truck drivers. Knoxville for driving is, is horrible. The 55 miles per hour speed limit posed as a safety risk. The, our biggest problem is cars, you know, getting in front of you and then slowing down. And uh, it takes a lot to, to stop this thing. Corey Porter has more than a decade of experience under his belt. He travels through Knoxville frequently and says he rarely sees anyone going the speed limit. Probably the average speed is about 67. Sometimes hard to keep up with the flow of traffic. What we're trying to do is make sure that our speed limit signage uh, is appropriate. Mark Nagy with TDOT says the decision was not made lightly. After 15 years, the change was needed. We've had studies, we've had communications with the Federal Highway uh, Administration. Less than 24 hours with the new rules, a speed gun showed drivers averaging around 65 to 70 miles per hour. A speed that Porter and Nagy say is actually safer than before. If we can all just kind of flow at the same speed, it should I think make things a little safer. It's going to be a little bit for everyone to get used to, but in the end, it's going to help. And if you saw 55 miles per hour signs still posted on your drive home tonight, those will be updated by tomorrow. John. Amelia, thank you.